All right, Shalom. First and foremost, like the Yavah, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakhah, Kurash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of the great millstones. I taste to all that I can push his word. True charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world even calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son's name of the world and calls Jesus and Rakhah, Kurash is the Holy Spirit. And as always, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, their line according to their father. Let's go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what outer appearance may seem to be. You see, and as always, I'm a brother, your diary from the Grimmel Stone Branch out here in Chicago, and I'm back with you another lesson. It's going to be an exhortation that you continue in the faith. You see, we're, we're at the very end. So the trials and the temptation is going to increase because we're about to receive the kingdom of heaven. You know, and the Lord is really going to put us to the um, the test. He's going to prove us through these manifold afflictions and so forth. Right. To see if we're worthy of the kingdom that, we're, that we've been suffering for thus far. So have these things in your mind when you're going through those uh, tribulations, you know, troubles, problems, afflictions, thorns, whatever you want to call them. You see, and the beautiful thing about it is we got a, a body of fellow believers, brethren, that hey, go through the same thing that we're going through. You see, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, this um X fourteen and twenty two, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter to the kingdom of the Most High. So a hey, we have to go through a lot. We're going to go through a lot. This is what we've been called to believe in the Lord. We also have been called to um, um, <laughs> receive persecution, uh, be troubled, be afflicted, ultimately bear our burden. You see? So when you're going through these temptations, uh, keep it in mind that the Lord is with us and that we're ultimately going through this so we can receive the kingdom. There's Romans chapter 12 and verse 11, not slothful in business fervent in spirit serving the lord and ultimately at the end of the day we're serving the lord you know our life is centered around this we're not half-assing a low you know taking no shortcut no we on fire for the lord serving the lord doing what's commanded of us right it says rejoice in the hope when you go down you have those bad times or whatnot but you always a a i'm quoting a lot of green miss yep because you have those moments where you go through and you feel some type of, you know, you go through, you know, your highs and lows within the faith. You know, but as it's in that Romans uh, 12 and 12, it says rejoicing in hope. Hope is expectation. Rejoicing in the expectation. What? The Lord's going to destroy this kingdom, revenge us, save us, and give us a, the kingdom of heaven. Right? So when you're going through those manifold tribulations and uh, afflictions, remember the end goal. So rock 7 and 36, whatsoever thou takest in thy hand, remember the end and thou shalt never do amiss. So wait, whatever, you know, going through whatever situation in life, you may be unhappy, happy, whatever. Remember the end goal. And that's going to, you know, uh, push you to uh, the course. Romans 12 and 12, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, which is the point. This whole 12 verse, really, but hey, it says patient in tribulation. If you patient... You know, you're enduring something you don't want to endure. You're suffering. You're enduring. Right? Patient and tribulation and troubles and distress and, and, and whatever it may be. You know, you're just waiting for the Lord to pull you through it. You know, the scriptures tell us that we got it right here next. The Lord ain't going to put too much on us that we can't bear. Had a mindset that whatever I'm going through, the Lord put it on my plate because he knew I can get through it. I just got to have a faith to get through it and, and, and trust in the Lord. Right? It says, patient in tribulation, continually instant in prayer. And there's the Apostle Rekha, the beloved Apostle, he goes into, he said, keep your medicine strong. Prayer, emphasize prayer. A, 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 uh, many scriptures, you know, it slipped my mind. Uh, you know, I didn't want to butcher, but hey, keep your medicine strong. Pray. Talk to the Lord. Bring that complaint to the Lord. The scriptures tell you, casting all your care upon him for he care for you. You see? So remember these things when you go in gems or whatever it may be. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as common to man. 
but the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So hey, hey, everything that you go through is a brother in your camp or across the world or wherever, they guess what? They went through that. They experienced that. They went through it. They had the faith. The Lord pulled them through it. And now they experienced and their faith has been built up. And they can also show you that, that same path or drop some gems on you to avoid it or, or ease your burden. You see? It says, but the most, and hey, you, it ain't just you going through this shit. The demons come and fuck with us, play in our mind, think all type of wicked and bogus ass shit, you know? But you got to, as the scriptures say, overcome evil with good. Resort back to the prayer. Remember the precepts, the succor, our help, right? It says, but the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. So the heavenly father is faithful and true. He ain't going to, he ain't going to put you in no situation that he ain't already got an in for you, that, that he already, that he hasn't already got an out for you, right? He's not going to just throw you to the wolves. No, if you're going through it, the Lord put on your plate because you can get through it. You just have to have the faith to endure and believe, right? It says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear. So the Lord is going to help us, right? And then on top of that, we have Yahweh Shai at the right hand of the Heavenly Father, praying for us and, and and he been in this flesh just like us and the same shit that tempted him guess what it's tempting us now but he did it without sin and now he's at the right hand of the heavenly father helping those that call upon him right so remember that we're all going through it endure and then a hey, looking to the author and finisher of our faith yahweh you see hebrews 14 it's like 4 and 14 seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passing to the heavens Yahweh Shai, the son of the most high, let us hold fast our profession. Seeing that we have such a high priest, Yahweh Shai, in the spiritual realm with the Heavenly Father, right? Seeing that we have this, it says, um, let us hold fast our profession, right? Let us stand firm in what we believe and what we out there um, um, confessing in this world, right? And in, in our job, right, which is to push this word. Let me see what the top of this Hebrews 4 say. It might be Hebrews 3. Nah, not Hebrews 3. Nah, it's Hebrews 12. That's what I was looking for. I'm just holding that on deck. Because, it, it, you know. Yep. We will finish this off. It says, let, let us hold fast our profession. Hebrews 4 and 15. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. But was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin, right? And that Yahweh Shai, when he came down here on this earth, he was tempted with the family demon. Uh uh all of all of it, man. Everything that we go through, the Lord went through it already. And he and he a pass without sin. And we're gonna get it. Now he's able to help us that come to the help those that come to him. It says, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace and help in time. So and keep the faith, endure, and believe. So you had that confidence in the Lord, you know, and be helped of the Lord. Right? Because the scriptures tell you without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. If you don't believe the Lord can't get you out that jam. Guess what? You you, you you doubt it. You damned. He ain't going to get you out of the jam because you don't believe it. But you can believe it. You may not see how or when. You just, shit, it is what it is. When the Lord find it fit, he going to get me out of this jam and, and set me up. You see? And the Lord is pleased with that. You know? This Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, right? So we casting off all the burdens and the shit of this world that are off track us. Put that to the side, right? Seeing we have such great promises and deliverances, uh, it's like great delivers, deliverances and blessings and, and, and promises waiting for us, right? Let me grab this right here. Let me make sure I ain't cut off the verse. Yeah, it's cool. Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, 
who for the so Yahweh Shai, he's the example. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The Heavenly Father said that, you know, uh above Yahweh Shai, you see. And, and, and it told him, uh, hear ye him, right? So he's the author and finisher of our faith. It says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. And, and remember, same thing with us. Think about the end goal, the kingdom of heaven, deliverance, salvation, uh, everlasting memorial of, of being those that believed in the Lord, right? It says, endured the cross. He went through some shit. It says his whole life, he was acquainted with sorrows and grief his entire life. Right, people trying to kill him constantly, stone him, throw him off cliffs, right? Talking shit against him, right? It says despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the most high. You see, so hey, as it's gonna say, verse three, for consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against him, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds, right? So think about what the Lord went through when you thinking when you going through some shit, you know, some which a, the sufferings for this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that's going to be revealed in us. What we think is heavy right now, <laughs> when we look back at it, back in, in the kingdom, bro, this shit is going to be not even a feather. <laughs> you know, you know, when you, you growing up, you had a problem with something that you couldn't solve and you get frustrated and you just toiling with it and it just don't work. And you just just upset and it's the most heaviest thing on you. Then some random day you do what you was trying to do. And it did it perfectly easy, quick as hell. And it was just like, damn, that's the same thing. You know, you got to look at the, Hey, remember the end. You might be in a fucked up position. That you don't want to be in. Right. But remember, a, hey, hey, remember the scriptures, man. The scriptures tell you in the book of Psalms that a hey, crime may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. You know, we may be down for a little season, but the Lord's going to bring us up. We good. It says, for consider him that have en endured such contradictions of sinners against him, lest you be weary and faint in your minds. Right. So you feel like you may feel like you want to throw in a towel. Remember what the Lord went through before you, you know, and Lord willing, you don't. But just remember what the Lord went through. You know, we just, we just get a little smaller, <laughs> you know, what he went through, you know, which if the Lord put us through it. Resorting back to the, the scriptures, we can get through it. Ultimately, the Lord is teaching us something. Verse four, ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. You know, the rest of it, you know, but that's just a point I wanted to hit on it. You know, it's just a quick hit, man. Hey, we all going through shit. And uh, hey, hey, the scriptures tell you that we, what son is it whom the Lord chasten if not? It says if we judge ourselves, I'm going to hit off right here. Because we're going through that spiritual fire. The world look at the losses and you know, uh, afflictions and whatever they call it, you know, we go through, they call it ills or what, whatnot. When we go through that, we ultimately being judged so that when the Lord comes back with wrath, we're not included in that. He pass over us. This, um, I think it's second Corinthians five and 11. First Corinthians 11 to 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we shall not be condemned with the world. So whatever we do go to ultimately is for our, um, as the beloved elder Yaki would say, is for our, um, uh, our perfection, our uh, perfection process, roughly paraphrasing. You know, it's all for, ultimately all for our glory, you know, but you just can't cast it off. You got to be, a hey, rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation. Lord willing, this was a edifying, uplifting lesson. Call her name La Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakashash. The bondage to the elders and the apostles with the great millstones. I taste all that I can push his word. Choose charity with charity. Shalom, Rakatham, Wa, Kwam Yashrala, Wa, Ababa, Ba. Shalom, Shalom.